Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Obasui, and the channel is My Take on It with Dr. Obasui. Today, I'm going to be talking about um, COVID-19, but from a different um, perspective. My heart, first and foremost, goes out to those that have lost um, dear ones to COVID-19, and um, those that are still uh, struggling with the sickness or with illness itself. I wish you guys a speedy recovery. Today, I'm going to be looking at COVID-19 from a different perspective as a Nigerian and as uh, somebody from a third world country. In every sad, every bad situation, there's always, some, there's always a lesson to learn from it, no matter how bad the situation is. And I think um, that's where I'm going to look at COVID-19 from. Um, in Nigeria, our leaders, anytime they are sick, they fly outside the country for treatment. Headache, they go in outside the country. The stomach ache, they fly outside the country. For the first time, we are all forced to use the same healthcare facilities, which they never bothered to develop all this while. I think this is going to force because it has beam light into the dilapidated um, health sector that we have. It's going to force them to start thinking how to resuscitate the facilities. Because for the first time, they have to use the local facilities. You can't fly to the U.S. because U.S. doesn't need you. You can't fly to Britain. You can't fly to, uh, to Canada or any other countries. Everybody have their own problems right now, and everybody's trying, they are trying to combat their problems. The last thing they need right now is anybody coming in from outside. So this is a big eye-opener to our leaders, certainly from third world countries, to sit down, sit there, get their acts together, and start looking at those areas that need their attention. This is just healthcare, just one area. Think about it. The money that we spend, the government money that's been wasted on medical tourism every year can go a long way in revamping most of our healthcare facilities. If these guys are really serious. And those facilities will be available to the masses every citizen instead of one person flying outside to go spend uh, 20 million or whatever it is you can put that money into our health uh, healthcare sectors back home and develop them right now you are using the same facilities suddenly money is coming out from everywhere to pump into the hospitals because you know tomorrow you might be the next victim and the good thing about COVID-19 is tend to start from the top. So it's getting the attention that we actually that we've long needed. The same way, health uh, education sector tomorrow, something will come up that will force our leaders to start thinking of uh, bringing our educational facilities up to par with the Western world. That way, they won't be sending their kids outside the country to go to school and ignoring what is happening with the, um, with the local people. These are the people that voted in. Of course, I know these guys also take money from the politicians before they vote them in. So one way or the other, but you can't blame the politicians too much. But as a leader, you must learn to do the right thing. This COVID-19 is an eye-opener, and I hope most of them learn from this. Right now, you cannot fly outside the country. Imagine how much, would have, how much Nigeria would have spent in this short period trying to treat our leaders that have tested positive to uh, COVID-19. That would be a lot of money. But right now, that money is not going out. It's forcing our leaders to put that money into the healthcare sectors. 
I saw one of the posts online where it says um, every politician should be treated at their own constituency, not even going to Lagos if you are in Nigeria. Not going to Abuja, not going to Lagos. Go to your own constituency health, care, health center and get treated there. How many of them can actually um, beat their chest to uh, uh, get treated at, their, at the health, health, uh, health centers they built for their communities? Very, very few, if any. A lot of them build like one, one room and call it a hospital. They have to cut, um, uh, cut a ribbon to open it. Meanwhile, they've just taken billions to build two rooms, call it a health center. How many of them can afford today to go to those health centers for treatment? So I think that's one of the best things that um, has happened to, to us in Nigeria, courtesy of COVID-19. Again, a lot of people complain of boredom during this period. What are we going to do now that we're home? And I'm not even sure why boredom would be an issue. Because um, this is not the industrial age. This is the information age. Technology has taken over. The more information you have, the more you're bargaining power. Downtimes like this should be spent, even if you don't have books at home, go online. There are tons of educational resources available online. Learn new thing every day. Who you are today should be better than who you were yesterday. And how do you do it? Learning new things. Almost every one of us have um, access to the internet these days. Go on YouTube. Go on Google. Learn new things. If you have hobbies, advance your hobbies. Photography is something that you've been planning to learn for a very long time. You have it on your bucket, uh, bucket list or to-do list. This is the time to tip it off. Most things are more difficult before you start. Once you start, you find the progress is a lot um, smoother than uh, probably the fear you've always had. Photography, videography, DJ, uh, you want to learn to DJ. So many things that you can learn. Learn to cook. Learn to cook new things. This is the time to spend also with family. It gives everybody time to bond. There's no, uh, I have to rush to go to work this morning. So you get to ask, uh, you, you, you're dashing out the door. Right now, everybody's at home. Spend more time with the family. Before now, maybe the husband is angry. He takes his car keys, he's gone. Going to hang out with his friends. Right now, that's not an option. You stay at home, you solve your problems. You eventually find that probably the wife is not as bad as you thought, or the husband is not as bad as you thought. COVID-19 downtime forces everybody to stay indoors. You learn to fix your problems. You don't have to go outside. No matter how angry you are, you and your wife are at home. You will sort it out. Unlike before, so there are a lot of good things that are coming out of it. I also hope um, the educational sector in Nigeria uh, will uh, one day uh, get something that will also wake uh, that part up. That way, our um, leaders will not have uh, reasons to be sending their kids outside the country to go to school. Kids, if their kids are not schooling outside the country, then they'll be forced to revamp our education sector back home. I remember um, high school and the um, early part of my university days, we used to have a lot of foreigners coming to school in Nigeria. Our education standard was very good, or very high. Unfortunately, today is the reverse. Those that cannot afford um, private education are left on their own.
pray that something will come up that will also change that sector. But most importantly, health is the most important thing. And I'm glad that um, COVID-19 is helping us to beam light into it so that our leaders will, uh, will understand what the masses have been going through. And at least, or use this opportunity to retrace their steps and start doing the right thing. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening. And I um, appreciate you all. I look forward to your comments. Leave them for me in the comment section. I read them and respond uh, as soon as uh, I can. Other than that, I'll see you guys at the next video. Thank you.